Hello, it's Saturday the 17th of October. You're tuned in to our 6pm newscast coming to you from Ali Dung's news centre in Seoul. It's very good to have you with us. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story this evening, South Korea and the United States have, for the first time, adopted a joint statement countering North Korea's nuclear ambitions. The statement was released following summit talks between President Park and Hay and her U.S. counterpart Barack Obama at the White House. Our Hwang Sang-hee reports from Washington. South Korea and the U.S. agreed to address North Korea's nuclear ambitions with utmost urgency and determination. Following Friday's summit at the White House on Friday, President Park and President Obama adopted a joint statement dealing solely with North Korea. The leaders reaffirmed that Pyongyang will never be accepted as a nuclear weapon state, vowing to enhance their close collaboration against North Korean provocations. Today, President Park and I are reaffirming that our nations will never accept North Korea as a nuclear weapon state. We will continue to insist that Pyongyang must abide by its obligations on the complete and verifiable denuclearization of the peninsula in a peaceful manner. Nonetheless, they stressed that South Korea and the U.S. remain open to dialogue, pledging to work with China and other parties, namely Russia and Japan, to bring North Korea back to credible and meaningful nuclear talks. President Park and Obama also said their two countries stand ready to assist Pyongyang's economic development under certain preconditions. Noting President Park's efforts to improve inter-Korean relations, the U.S. said it will give its full support and agree to intensify high-level consultations to promote the peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. As this marks the first time that the two allies adopted a separate statement on North Korea, South Korea's presidential office said that it shows how committed Seoul and Washington are in ending North Korea's nuclear weapons program. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News, Washington.